Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Code. So in this video, we are going to talk about one of the coolest features of Next.js, which is Next.js image component. So basically, we are going to replace all these images using the Next image component. So for that, let me just go to Next image documentation. Here it is. This Next image component is nothing but a wrapper of the normal HTML image tag, but the wrapper does a lot of cool stuff. But hey, wait, why do you need the Next image component? What's the problem with the normal HTML image tag? Well, to answer that, first I will show you a lighthouse comparison between two websites. One is using the next image component and the other one is using the normal HTML image tag to render the images. So let me just open the incognito mode for some good stuff. So first I will open my ongoing project which is running on localhost 3000. And this is also the production build guys. Look at this, this is run using the npm run start. And I have also built a project using npm run build. And the second one is my final project which is this url just copy this go to incognito mode paste this here open the website cool so let me just go to my ongoing project which is not using the next.js image component you can also see here this is not using the next.js image component just using the normal html image tag okay so let me just go to projects tab and just open the chrome dev tools ctrl shift j is the shortcut go to lighthouse uh -huh, just check the performance and the device is desktop that is fine and general report look at this the performance is 87 and where can i improve i can improve on the images look at this the opportunity properly size images so we can improve that and then the images elements do not have the explicit width and the height my dog is barking okay so this one is the project which is not using the next.js image component and now just go to my final project go to the projects tab just open the dev tools and go to lighthouse and generate report for the performance and the device is desktop okay so this website is rendering all these images using the next.js image component except this image the sidebar image this one this image is not using the next.js image component because I was lazy. Okay, that's the only reason. And now click on generate report. And the performance is 100. Like seriously, I did not expect that. I expected something like, you know, 97, 98, but we can still improve this. Look at this. The image elements do not have explicitly width and height. And that is because I told you this image, the sidebar image, I am not using the next.js image component. So that's how you can improve that. Okay, so that's just a normal comparison I wanted to show you. So this is 87 versus 100. Okay, so that's a big reason you should use next.js image component. Now we are only using 8 or 9 images in this website. But for an e-commerce website, there are thousands of images in a product page. So you can get an idea how images affect a website, right? Okay, so now let's talk about all the features this next.js image component provides. So for that I am on this website which is using the next.js image component which has 100 performance okay. So the first one is it automatically search the images in modern image format like webp which is around 30% smaller than jpeg. So to show that I will go to network click on image just refresh this. Now you can't see all these images because it loads the images lazily. My dog is still barking. Okay so go to responsive look at this as you scroll it will load all these images but the point is look at the type of the image this is webp and this webp is around 30 percent smaller than jpeg and you can also notice that the image which is not using the next.js image component has the type of jpeg so just click on this image click on the preview yeah here it is look at the type it is image slash webp Okay, so that's one feature of next.js image component. The next one is it automatically optimizes the images on demand. See if you just open this website in a mobile screen, let me show you. Just, just click on this responsive drop down and click on Moto G4. Refresh the page and click on an image. Look at the width of the image. This is go to headers, sorry. Go to headers and the width of the image is 1200, right? And now just go to, you know, something like iPhone, iPad Pro refresh the page and then click on an image look at the width of the image this is 2048 
So Next.js automatically optimizes the images based on the screen size. The third feature is it lazy loads the images. So what I mean by that is it loads the images only when a certain threshold is reached. So let me show you. I have already shown that by the way. And look at this. In this viewport, I have only these images which is not using the Next.js image component. So let me just scroll down. So let me just scroll and look at this. I have these two images, right? So just refresh the page. You can see I have only two images. And as you scroll, as it comes into our viewport, it will load all these images. Cool. So that's a much needed feature we want. You can also vary the quality of the images. So you can see that click on an image, go to headers and look at this Q. Q means quality and the default quality is 75. You can also see in your, in your documentation. Here inside this documentation, mm -hmm, you can see the quality. Here is the quality. The quality of the optimized image and integer between 1 and 100. 100 is the best and the default is 75. So I am going to play with all of this. But the question is how does the Next.js image component optimize the images? So basically behind the scene it uses the source set. Click on an image. Uh -huh. Click on the image. Nice. Click, go to elements and look at the source set. It loads around 8 or 9 variants of the images. This is the source set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Look at the width of the images. So which one is perfect? It will ship the images to the source. That's it. Behind the scene, it uses the Next.js virtual CDN. But you can definitely change the CDN. You can use the Cloudinary CDN or whatever CDN you want to use. I love Next.js by the way. So enough theory. Now just go to practical. Okay, so just open your code editor and go to projects card, which is using the image. So first I replace this image with the next image. So for that we need to import the Next.js image component. So import image from next slash image cool save this that's it now just go to this image you can just keep a copy of this for the reference just let me duplicate that and comment this out cool let's replace this image using the image with the capital image okay source is source alt is all that is same cause i told you that this is only a wrapper of the normal html image tag so this will just forward all these properties okay you can also set a class that is fine on click set show detail that is fine but here you need to set a width and the height which is around 300 pixel and the height is around 150 save this and just refresh the page go to local 3000 refresh the page and look at this this is using the next.js image component i can prove that go to dev tools red 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 where this is red why this is red what i am using width and height just give it a refresh ah, yeah cool go to network look at this the type of the image is webp it means it is using the next.js image component that is great now let's talk about the layout so just go to next.js image documentation here you can pass four layouts which are Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it is fix, intrinsic, responsive, and fill. By default, this is intrinsic. Intrinsic means the image will scale the dimension down for the smaller viewports but maintain the original dimension for the larger viewport. What I mean by that is, uh huh, look at this. This is for the mobile screen, right? So let me just click on the responsive. Here it is. Look at the size of the image. So for the larger screen, it will not maintain the height and the width. But for the smaller screen, it will maintain the aspect ratio. Look at this. But to solve that, we can use the responsiveness. So inside this layout, you can pass the responsive. Here it is. So let's pass that. And pass the responsive. Great. Save this. I guess I am done with the incognito mode. So just close this incognito mode. Uh, local 3000. Now let's check the responsiveness of the image. Look at this, it will maintain the height and the width. Great. Now you might ask that what is the point of using the width and the height when you are using the responsive. 
Well, Next.js says that you need to provide that because setting the size of the image component helps Next.js to determine the initial size of the internal responsive container. So that's why you need to pass the width and the height. Cool. And then we can pass fix, which is just fix, does not give a fuck about the responsiveness. Look at this. Check the responsiveness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at this. This is fixed. It does not care. And then the fourth one is we can pass fill. Fill. Now this fill will maintain the size of the parent container. So for this fill, you don't need to pass the width and the height. Just pass the layout as fill. And this will make this image position absolute. So just save this. So it will take the height and the width of the relative parent. And what is my relative parent? For that, let me just go to projects page. I think inside the projects page, I have a div which has a relative position. And <laughs> here it is. Look at this. Inside this div, I have this class name which is relative. So that image will take the height of this div. Okay. Let's see. Height and the width, I should say. Look at this. You can see only one image and that is because it has the absolute position and just go to the chrome dev tools click on an image uh-huh just see the position this is the styles look at the position this is absolute so it means if i just remove the relative from this div it will take the height of the full body mm, where is my relative here it is remove this save this and now it should take the full screen let it load here it is this is great huh let me also show you the quality you can also vary the quality so just go to the image pojescart.tsx you can pass a parameter which is quality and by default this is 75 let me just make this 100 and refresh the website and here it is look at this uh -huh, just make this quality 1 it will be something like 144 pixel yeah look at this it is still quite good so it means for a smaller screen it will look really nice but let's go back to quality 75 or just remove this quality okay nice so what i want i want the layout responsive and the height is back to 300 no 300 150 and the width is 300 that's a perfect size for our image and now just copy this image tag and replace the second image which is mm -hmm. here it is comment this out paste this here image path image path cursor pointer i don't need this on click i also don't need this class name uh-huh that's it save this and just go to projects.tsx and just make this relative again refresh the website great click on an image nice yeah quite good now let's replace this image the sidebar image so for that just copy the image tag go to projectscart.tsx i don't need to copy let's go to sidebar.tsx uh-huh just import the image from next image so import image from next slash image cool uh -huh, make this capital image capital image okay source is same i am going to get an error for this source i want to show you that class name with 32 height 32 that is fine actually that is not fine i need to set the height and the width explicitly so the height is 128 pixel right so height is 128 pixel which is you can you don't need to pass the pixel but i want to pass that i don't know why and then the layout is in this case intrinsic is better because i don't really want this to be responsive and by default this is intrinsic so doesn't really matter width and height i don't need that save this and let's see an error refresh the page here it is so the error is invalid source property it says that to enable image optimization for images hosted on an external website, you need to include the domain in next config file. With that file, Next.js will know that which domains are allowed to be optimized. So in this case, we need to specify the sumitde.nlify.app domain. So let's do it. 
here is an example of next.js config file so just click on this link here it is so just copy this go to your root and inside your root create a new file which is called next.config.js config.js and paste this here nice so you need to include the domain for that just remove this assets.example.com so just put your external domains here that's it that's what you need to do so just restart the server oh this is not next this is next my bad i'm a god of typo cool uh, found a change in nextjs.config file you need to restart the server okay no problem Control c npm run dev that's it refresh this nice the image is loaded this is using the quality 75 so just increase the quality go to sidebar quality 100 save this so guys that's it for this section if you have any doubt you can just put a comment and guys please hit the like button for the algorithm of the youtube that's it see you in the next video bye